Olive found herself standing on a floating Ooh. iceberg next to an igloo. She was dressed in a woolly hat and scarf. <laughs> It's so cold. Shivered, Olive. It's not just cold, it's freezing, just how it's meant to be here in the Arctic. Said a young polar bear who appeared from the igloo. You're telling me. I'm Olive, by the way. Hello, Olive. I'm Alfred, and that's my village over there. Olive looked over at a group of igloos, oh. just like Alfred's, on a distant iceberg. But if that's your village, Alfred... What are you doing all the way over here? Floating further away from my village, that's what. Oh, you see, the iceberg split in two and sent my igloo and me floating out into the sea. I was so busy fishing, I didn't realise until it was too late. Oh, dear. Can you swim back? I'm only little. I can't swim that far. Oh, that's cold. Not to worry, Alfred. We'll think of another way to get you home. I do hope we can. It's very lonely here. Your fishing rod could be helpful. Maybe we could use it to hook onto the big iceberg and then pull ourselves across. Great idea, Olive. Olive picked up the fishing rod and cast the line out towards the big <laughs> iceberg. Oh, no. Oh, we've drifted too far, Olive. The fishing line won't reach. Not to worry, Alfred. We'll try something else. Olive spotted a penguin oh. swimming in the ocean. She reeled the fishing line back and popped a fish onto the end. Maybe we can get someone to pull us. Olive cast the fish out towards the penguin. The fish landed in the water with a splash. The penguin grabbed it and tried to swim away. <laughs> its little flippers splashed and splashed, but neither the penguin nor Alfred's iceberg moved. That penguin isn't strong enough to pull my iceberg back to the village. It's just too big, Olive. We'll have to find another way to get me home. Hmm. A fishing rod, a penguin, an igloo. I think I may have an idea. We can turn your igloo into a boat. That should be light enough for a penguin to pull. Alfred and Olive quickly flipped the igloo onto its roof, slid it into the water and they jumped aboard. Now we just need a bit of penguin power. Olive cast another fish towards the penguin, but it flew over the penguin's head and plopped into the water beyond. Oh. Suddenly, a huge whale rose out of the water with the fish in its mouth. Cake, that's not good. Oh. As the whale zoomed off, the little igloo skimmed over the splashing waves towards the village. The polar bears all dived for cover as Alfred and Olive catapulted out of the water, skidded across the ice and finally slowed to a halt in the middle of the village. A huge polar bear lumbered towards them. Oh, there you are, Alfred. Did you remember supper? Yes, ma'am replied Alfred as he gestured to the igloo, which was now filled with fish from their journey. Well done, Alfred. There's enough fish here to feed the entire village. Thanks for getting me home, Olive. I had lots of fun. So did I, Alfred. In fact, I had a whale of a time. <laughs> they all laughed. And as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. Typical Olive, daydreaming again, said her mum. Heck, actually, I went fishing in an igloo with a polar bear. Your head's been in the sand too long, dear, said Olive's dad. Her little brother laughed. <laughs> but Olive wasn't listening. She was already dreaming of her next big adventure. <laughs>